So I found myself searching in a mess of gear and I thought I need to organize all of this. It gives me a sense of calmness when I know that things are organized, even when I can't see them, like the camera gear in this cabinet, pretty much. But on the other hand, in a day there are so many tasks that take up your time and energy that a little task like organizing this stuff will be delayed from day to day. He thought I will organize this when I have the time, led to me not organizing it. And maybe you can find yourself in this, you know, time isn't found, time is created. And this way of seeing things made me prioritize a lot of things differently. So pretty much all of us have to decide by prioritizing what we want to do and by that creating the time we need to do those things. So I need to have to make a commitment and just take the time and prioritize this to do. With everything you want to do, it's not a question of the time you try to do, but rather a question of the priority you attach to the task, whether or not it is a conscious decision or not. We assign to everything a priority and the things with the least priority get neglected most of the time. This task was delayed for too long, so the priority to organize this finally became more important. And the first idea that came to mind was to buy some foam and cut it to the shape of the gear. But I had the feeling that this wouldn't look too clean as I had to cut it by hand and I really wanted the gear to look clean, like satisfyingly clean and organized. The next idea was to 3D print the exact shapes and forms of the gear. And after doing some research I found a system called Grifinity which was created by a guy called Black Friedman. With this system you have a base plate with a grid and containers that fit into the grid. There are a lot of containers you can download on platforms like Thingiverse or Printables. But there's even a plugin for Fusion 360, so you can customize the containers to your own liking. And that's where the magic of 3D printing comes to shine. So after some research, I decided to try this system and immediately downloaded the grids and started printing. Then I searched for camera gear stuff for the Gridfinity system and found, for example, this holder for the Sony batteries. But I didn't find nearly as much as I hoped for. So I installed the plugin for Fusion and started experimenting with creating the exact shapes I needed for my gear. You can download Fusion 360 for free and the plugin for the Gridfinity system is also for free. Links to both are down in the description. On Mac the installer will close automatically and when you start Fusion again you can find the generator of the bins and the grids under the create tab at the bottom. I kind of searched for this way too long. <laughs> First I thought of laying the lenses on the grid and then model them in Fusion but this would take up too much space of the grid. That's why I decided to store them vertically in the drawer, which resulted in way less space needed from the grid and also way less filament used by the printer. Although I needed to lay two of my lenses flat because they were too tall in a vertical position for the drawer to close, most of the time I used my Sony a7C2 with the Samyang 35-150 to f2-2.8. So I wanted to have this combo also in a flat downlay with the lens attached to the body. I would save some space storing the camera vertically, but again, this whole project has also made a design focus. I quickly came to the point where I felt like I was wasting time when the printer wasn't running, and the first filament roll from Bamboo Lab in matte black went empty in what felt like a second. So I had to order new filament. Sadly, due to the birthday sale, exactly the white and the black PLA filament were sold out, but I needed new one ASAP and that's why I decided to try one from Amazon which could be delivered the next day and had good reviews. I didn't want to use my dark blue filament from Bamboo Lab because, again, design. After printing the first couple of bins, I noticed that you can insert magnets in the base when you adjust this feature in the generator. So I bought magnets on Amazon, adjusted the size and fusion, and now I am able to magnetize the bins to the drawer since it is made of metal. This feature is very handy because when the bin fits too snug on the object, it holds, I would just take the whole bin out when pulling on the object, but now it is held by the magnets. Of course, not everything went perfect the first try, and sometimes not even the second or third one, to be honest. But I think this is just how things are and the earlier you accept this, the sooner you'll be fine just doing your thing and not complaining about stuff not working the way you want to. Always remember that in videos like this it's easy to only show the good stuff, but in every project there are flaws and with the right mindset you embrace them and learn from them. Just get going and do stuff. Doing, making and creating stuff is always the best teacher you can have. These two upper drawers are for camera gear and chargers. The third drawer is for the tripods, while the fourth drawer is for boxes. The power supply and therefore the charging station is installed in the second drawer. I also decided to put the audio equipment in this drawer as well. This leaves the first drawer for the cameras, lenses, monitor plates, lights and so on. After two rolls of filament and days of non-stop printing, I finally was ready for assembling the bins. To give you an idea of how much work it was to design all this stuff in Fusion and how much containers I printed, Here's a quick montage from design to assembly.
said, hold up, cock my greasy bang, bang. I put some links to the Gridfinity system I used down in the description as well as the links to the gear I used to make these videos. So basically all of this stuff are organized here. What do you think of this project? Do you have any suggestions on how I can make this more efficient? Then just leave a comment down below, I'm stoked to see what you guys think. In any case guys, thanks for watching and as always, have a great one. Ciao!